So let's get started with part four, and this is the one everybody's been waiting on out there. I'm sure you guys are sitting there with bated breath wanting to know the real estate professionals navigating the new normal, all right? The shift in strategies for you. Uh, the financial market, which is the key component we're talking about right now, is a dynamic and ever-evolving landscape. And you, as the real estate professional, you find yourself at the forefront of navigating this into the new normal. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about your roles and how you adapt to this financial market shift with focusing on education, uh, your property valuation, negotiation, selling strategies, networking, client services, all of this. Remember, this is from the point of the financial uh, key element, because we will talk about some strategies from the technological standpoint in the next section. So as a real estate professional, you guys are the stewards of the financial transaction that play a crucial role in the buying and selling process. And it is going to be up to you to educate your clients about the nuances of that financial market that you are currently in or potentially going into, depending on your timing with your client, all right? So in the new normal where the economic conditions and policies are subject to the rapid change, you got to provide your client with a comprehensive insight of what's going on, what could potentially go on, and how that's going to play a role in this process. All right. So you got to talk about interest rate fluctuations, government interventions and programs. You may be talking about economic indicators. You might be talking about investment uh, indicators and where the market's going. And I mean like the financial market. All right. So by enhancing your market education to your client, you will empower them to make more informed decisions that are financially dynamic to their environment. Now, on property valuation, as the financial market shift undergoes um, a transition, property valuations become a key focal point for you as a real estate professional. All right. Your ability to assess a property's value amid the changing economic condition among the changing interest rates among the marketing uh, shift is all going to be pivotal in your success. All right. So you've got to leverage data analytics. You've got to leverage market research. You have to provide expertise to your clients with realistic and precise property valuations. So a nuanced understanding of these financial variables is going to be essential for you in setting competitive pricing and ensuring a successful transaction. Now, when it comes to negotiation, the new normal is going to demand a heightened negotiation skills from us. All right. Fluctuations in the financial market are going to introduce a level of complexity to the negotiation that maybe we didn't have in a static market. Remember, we're negotiating for a deal that may close in 30, 45, maybe 60 days. There could be huge changes in that economic uh, market. So you've got to know that and deal with it inside of your negotiations. You've got to adapt and navigate these conditions so that you can secure favorable terms and offers for your client and from the other client. All right. Well, not the other client, but you get what I mean. The other side, <clears throat> whether you're representing the buyer or the seller, your ability to negotiate effectively is going to be a key trait that's going to make you successful as a real estate professional. Now, Property selection. In these financial shifts, real estate professionals have to refine your property selection strategies for your client. Now, here's where AI may help you, but we're going to talk about that in the next section. All right. So understanding your client needs, including their financial considerations, 
all of the things we've talked about before about their buying power and their savings and their down payment and their favorable terms for uh, loans and government policies. All of these are going to be involved or baked into your ability to select a property that is both economically, financially, and, you know, intrinsically desired by that client. So in the new normal, you guys are going to guide your clients to properties that will align with their housing or investment goals. Could be an investor. So remember, you're going to have to take in some risks in there. Um, you're going to have to account for the risks and those opportunities that could be present with all of that. In the selling strategies, you've got to adapt your selling strategies to align with the changes in the new financial shift. So you're going to be leveraging digital platforms, virtual tours, data-driven marketing. Um, you can now effectively showcase properties to a broader audience. You can do it at more liberal times than before. You can tailor the selling strategy to reflect the economic trend that is currently going on and match the buyer's preference so that you can create a tailor, a successful transaction in this shifting financial dynamics. Now, when it comes to building referral networks, um, you are going to have to understand that building a, a viable, robust referral network is a strategic move that's going to help you in the future with this shift, all right? Because real estate professionals will collaborate with mortgage brokers, maybe financial advisors, maybe accountants, all these other players that are offering other financial comprehensive services that could be part of your new referral network so that you can enhance your range of services to your clients, whether they're the buyers or the sellers. When it comes to analyzing the real estate market as a whole, you are going to have to act like a financial analyst. You're going to provide in-depth market analysis. You're going to have to understand supply and demand. You're going to have to understand current economic indicators, specifically local trends, which is what might end up biting some of us in the butt because we all know when we get started, we say yes to everything. Oh, I'll list that house down there. Oh, and I'll list that house over there. You may have to understand there are local trends that we have talked about previously that may change your buyer's client's search and the market that they're actually buying or selling in. So you're going to have to have continual training and education so that you can navigate this new financial market shift. You're going to have to stay informed with financial regulations and market trends and specifically technological advancements, which we're going to get to so that you can remain at the forefront and give your client the best service that they can. So in this new normal market, expansion goes well above our boundaries. The real estate professionals should seek strategic partners with professionals from any other industries. We've talked about that with your previously on the network, financing people, tech, technology people, education people, collaborating with FinTech. You guys know what FinTech is, financial technology companies um, and financial institutions that might be able to provide you with the insights and tools to navigate the complexities of the real estate market. You're going to be offering client services well beyond transactional interactions. All right. So you're going to have to adopt to a client centric approach, offering personalized services that address special needs for that client, for that market, for that property. You know, effective communication is going to be key. Transparency. Where have we heard that in the news lately? And responsive to these key elements 
are going to be required if you are going to provide exceptional service and making sure that your clients are well satisfied and remain loyal, all right? So you are going to be a key player in this new financial shift in the real estate new normal because you are the linchpin that understands or should understand all of the topics that we just talked about, you know, property valuations, negotiations, market analysis, uh, educating your clients. All of these things are going to be required by you to make sure that you stay ahead of the game and resilient and prosper during the growth of the real estate industry as a whole.